One of the fascinating things about cats is their unique coat colors and markings. In this presentation, we'll break down for you how cats get them from their parents. But first, let's briefly look at the history of the domestic cat right after the intro. Originally, all cats were just brown with tabby markings. That's because they're descended from the African wildcat, a finding backed by genetic studies. Research shows the DNA of modern domestic cats is almost identical to that of their desert-dwelling ancestor. As humans dispersed, ancestors of cats followed and played an important role in preserving civilization. At agricultural settlements, cats provided value as pest exterminators, which kept starvation at bay. Eventually, due to different climates, crossbreeding, and a variety of factors, Cat's coat colors and patterns began diversifying. For the last 200 years, selective breeding, mostly for appearance, has become more common. The result is the wide range of cat colors and patterns we see today. Yet, all the colors are essentially a dilution or combination of just two colors, red and black. This brings us to the next point. mentioned, cat coat colors can be broken down into red and black. For example, orange or cream is a dilution of red, and gray or blue a dilution of black. White, on the other hand, is simply the absence of the two colors. Chromosomes that fix the genders of cats play a big part in how they get their coat color. Of the 38 pairs of chromosomes in the cell of each cat, one pair determines gender. With X and Y for males, and X and X for females. The DNA for coat color is found exclusively in the X chromosome. Male kittens get the X from mom and Y from dad, which means their color, red or black, is determined exclusively by mom. So if mom is a calico, he will either be black or orange, or bicolored with white patches. Female kittens are made of two X chromosomes, one from each parent which means they inherit one color each from both. So, if mom is black and dad is orange, she might turn out a calico, or tortie. Abnormalities do happen, where a male kitten might inherit an extra X chromosome, but they often turn out sterile. Cat fur patterns are mainly tabby, solid, bicolor, tricolor, tortoise shell, and color point. Yet it might surprise you to know that all cats are essentially tabbies, as per their ancestor. Whether they show their stripes, or not, has to do with the agouti gene. Marked tabbies have the dominant gene, while solid-colored cats have the recessive one. With the two colors, absence of color, and tabby markings, you get a variety of tabby cats. They range from garden variety to even solid-colored ones, like the Abyssinian. While genes determine colors and markings, each kitten embryo will express them in different ways. Even identical twins will have differences in coat color and markings. Finally, pointed color pattern is determined by temperature. The colder parts of the body, like the nose, paws and tail, are darker and the warmer parts lighter. Plus pointed cats in colder climates tend to have darker fur while those in warmer climes have lighter ones. Whatever color and pattern cats may be, it's been determined by mom if males, and mom and dad if females. We hope this presentation has helped deconstruct a somewhat complicated topic for cat lovers out there. In the end, it's good to remember the uniqueness of cats lies less in their appearance than in their personality. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, Hit the like button and subscribe for new content weekly.